Hello, my name is Sebastian. I'm going to show you Focus, which is one of the easiest Stable Fusion user interfaces to use. Press Launch App up here, find Focus in the list, select your machine. I'm selecting the Turbo one, which is the fastest one. Select the time you want to run or just click Launch to use the default timer. Wait a couple of minutes for the machine to launch. Once you get in, you'll see this and this is Focus. I'm going to prompt penguin in a hat and if we press generate it's going to start generating our image of a penguin in a hat now if you want more advanced features you have the input image checkbox here and the advanced checkbox here let's start with the advanced one here and as you can see here first we have some performance settings you can select speed quality or extreme speed i recommend going speed or quality here you have the size of your image so you have lots of options here to choose from and you can select how many images you want rendered in this instance we had two I'm just going to set this one here. So here we have our beautiful penguin and a hat finished. You can go into the styles here and hover over these to see an example of these styles. We have a fantasy art, we have clay, a cinematic style, there are lots of styles to choose from. So pick one that suits your needs. If you're an advanced user, you can change the model here and any additional LoRa's or which are similar to filters. If you press the little input image here, you will be able to in-paint and out-paint. So if we take this image and drag it down in here, in the first one we have upscale. So that means we can make our image even larger. Now this was previously 1152 by 896 pixels, so already fairly large. You can upscale it here fast by two times and if we press generate, it's going to take this image and make it two times bigger. And we can see our finished image coming in here and it is now twice the size of what we had originally. So much clearer detailed image. You have the image prompt in here. If you drop an image in, you will be able to control the output of your image. If we would change the prompt to cat here, for example, you can see that the image of the penguin with a hat and the colors of that will be influenced in the new image of a cat. And as you can see, we are clearly getting a cat here. The cat has a hat and the bokeh and the background is similar to our previous image. So that's a cool way of getting similar looking images inside of Focus. The next feature here is in paint or out paint. And if you drag and drop your image down there, you have out paint direction. So you can select, for example, left and right here. And if we generate that, you would expand the image to right and left and as you can see coming in here live it's now trying to generate something on the left and the right this feature you can also mask so let's say that you want to change the head here so we can mask the head say that it's a dog change this to modify content and we are generating and now it will change just that part of your image and as you can see that it's rendering the outside here of the image is not changing but the inside here that we painted the mask is changing into a dog's face or a dog's head instead. And the last tab here, describe, if you drag and drop an image into there, it will describe this image into a prompt. And in this case, it says a small brown and white dog wearing a top hat. So that's a quick look at focus inside of ThinkDiffusion. So let's get out there and create some amazing looking art.